Yo, what's up guys, can you just something to hear back with another Pokemon Expanded Deck video today. We're taking a look at uh, Orbeetle VMAX paired with Dustnor Sinister Hand ability, which basically um, you can choose um, where the damage counters go on your opponent's Pokemon to try to, you know, you can move them around to Pokemon and try to get some insane knockouts. But before we get into the video, if you guys are looking to buy some Pokemon codes, make sure you guys head to buy PTCGO codes. Dot com. Use my code Keldio for a five percent off on all purchases on the website. Link will be in the description to that website. Um, so, yeah, Orbeetle V Max. On um, this is a really good pairing because Orbeetle's ability Eerie Beam does. Um, if it's in the act, it has to be in the active spot. But you can um, put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon, so that can add up to like um, you know six in, in a single turn. Um, not too bad, and then you can also like keep retreating to other Orbeetles because we play a 4-4 line. Um, but Dustnor, as I said, you can basically, once you do this, um, you, you know, that's if you do that twice, that's 12 damage counters you can put on any Pokemon and just keep, you know, spreading around all game long. Um, so this is a 2-2-2 line. Um, Dustol has a nifty ability. If you have to discard three cards for it to work, but uh, you can evolve this guy on your first turn, and then on your second turn you can get um, Dustnor out. So you could be fully set up on your second turn. Um, not too bad, man. Um, but yeah, uh, we we're, we have, we're playing Executes, um, you know, for this ability, and we're also playing you know four four Quick Balls, four Ultra Balls, just to pair nicely with these Executes. Uh, Snorlax is a pretty um, big, uh, you know, important in this deck. Um, if it's an active spot, you can draw a card, cards until you have seven in your hand. Um, you know, 130 HP tank, really not too bad. Um, yeah, so I, I like doing this on my first turn. You can do like stuff like a, a capture energy combo, and you know, retreat. We got a bunch of ways to retreat with this deck. Everything works pretty well. Um, it, it'd probably be good without the dust storm. Um, anyways, you know. In standard, there's there's some there's a really good deck. Um, I you know that was everywhere a few months ago, using the using this pairing. But yeah. All right. So for tools uh, or for items, we got one battle compressor just to try to you know execute um, any you know um, supporters because we have a few VS seekers in this deck. Got one escape rope for switching, one fuel blower, um, one switch, uh, one target whistle, which is pretty good. If your opponent has like a low HP um, Pokemon, like an Execute or something, then you can you know keep switching that uh, damage counters onto that onto that Pokemon. Uh, three Trainers Mail, four Ultra Balls, um, three Via Seekers. You can maybe bump that up to four. We don't play a crazy amount of supporters because of Snorlax that gets a uh, pretty a pretty good setup um, yeah, on the first turn, um, hopefully. But we also play one Swell, one Life Force that. Um, Heal 60 damage and all special conditions. Um, but yeah, the stadium's probably going to be kicked out a lot, you know, um, with all the stadiums going on and expanded right now. Um, but I mean, it, it's good, you know, for like a one turn, 60 damage heal, not too bad. Uh, one Ace Ruler just for picking up um, dudes and getting all those uh, energy back in your hand. One Bird Keeper. Um, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench, draw three cards, so... You you really can um, do up to like four four uh, four ore beetles in a single turn. I think I may have done three in this video. I'm not sure, but um, one N, two Guzmas, of course, more switching. Love switching this deck. Uh, two two Junipers got fl three floats. Um, these guys have actually this guy only has one retreat cost, but three there and of course an relax um, three. So. Um, so for energy, we're playing four capture. Like I said, really good for get because you need basically first turn you want a Snorlax, you want Orbeetle and Duskull um, on your bench. So definitely, we really want to prioritize setting up pretty early. Um, we're also playing one weakness guard energy in case of fire um, matchups. You know, it's not not a bad thing to have. And then five grass energy. So that's going to wrap up the introduction. Let's get right onto the battles. All right, going into the first game of the day, I will lose the coin flip. Definitely would like to go first, which I will go. Um, decent hand. I mean, I do like starting with the Snorlax. I could capture it if I need to, but that's if I get a float. I don't really want to just retreat with an energy. 
Uh, so looks like we're playing we're, we're playing Blissey. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're playing Blissey, and I'm playing Orbital V Max. Okay, this is fine. This is great. Um, yeah, my yeah my opponent. Um, I could actually Snorlax right here. Okay, this is actually a perfect start against a, a really good matchup. I'm loving this. So I'll use this. I will. I just got to discard a ton of stuff in my hand. Oh, that's awkward that I get a Dusclops, though. Uh, that's kind of awkward. Hopefully there's one in my deck. There is. Okay. And then I will definitely use that. And then I'll be stuck with a Juniper. So, and then I'll Snorlax as well. So that really worked out. Um, yeah, I'll use that. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I could possibly lose this game. I mean, Dustnorn might not even be um, much, much needed, really. I mean, I have them, I have them, but he's probably. I mean, he's only playing like four Blissies, probably. But like to attack, he needs a, a ton of energy, man. Uh, which I don't know how how he could possibly do anything against me. He's got Path to the Peak, but he just discarded it. So he must have gotten something a lot better because, I mean, I use Orbital. That's really the only thing I use, though. Um, yeah. He's got a boss. Is he going to use it? I mean, he couldn't, he couldn't kill this guy, even if he had a DCE. All right, so he had a Path to the Peak. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean that'd prevent that, but it wouldn't really matter. He's got 290 health, um, so if he puts 7 energy on himself, then I do... I do 400 damage. <laughs> so be my guess, man. I just need one float. Oh, he's gonna boss. Um, okay. So, yeah, so I just need a float. I, I have two other floats. So you're gonna put three DCEs. He's only gonna put two. Okay, so he's, he's playing this tactically, dude. Um, alright. So, I'm gonna evolve. I have a rescue. I don't need that. So he's got five energy. Um. Oh, wait. I Wait, I still... Wait, no, that's 300. Right? Yeah, that's... Th sorry, I still one-hit him. Um, what did, what did he discard? Maybe, maybe discard the boss, I guess? Probably. Yeah, he'll just give him the win. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that Blissey V really is the perfect matchup against any Orbital V Max deck. Any deck where um, you deal a ton of damage, depending if, you're, if your opponent has a ton of energy on their Pokemon. So, yeah, plus I had a really good start, so it was just over for him. All right, going into another battle. Lose the coin flip, though. Go first. All right. Um, start with the Dust Skull. So, I mean, I do have the capture energy. I could just quick ball again, or beetle capture, and then switch to a Snorlax. That would work out. Um, wait, is this... That's a lot of energy. I don't think this is Blissey, because the level ball. But, um, what is this? <laughs> what... Oh, is this a Whimsicott? I don't know. Mad... Mad... Wait, how much energy did I see right there? Okay. So, we're playing against Mad Party. Pretty good matchup again. Um, I will. I guess I'll do this first. Yeah, I'll get. I'll get a ton of balls, man. Um, I will. Oof, I, I really want a lot of stuff in, in this hand. I don't need an ultra ball. Um, do I play? Yeah, I play one compressor. Um, but I will get a Snorlax first. Now I'll get an Orbeetle. I'm gonna get a Snorlax anyways, and then I definitely can't use this this turn. Um, but I, I don't I don't need it yet. And then oh yeah, I forgot about the capture energy, right? So use that for Snorlax, or could I use it? Um, I'll use this first. Not like I have, I have too much. Yeah, I can't use it. Um, I could get another Ore Beetle out. Which I think I'll do. I gotta see what's in my deck. 
Um, oh, so this is my only... Okay, so this is my only Dusclops. Okay. Good thing I did not dusk discard it. Uh, I have a rescue, though. But I will do this and then Snorlax for a bunch of cards. Not too bad. Okay, no energy executes, though. No, I don't play a ton of supporters in this deck. Um... Could I one hit this guy though? No, unless I get an energy. Um, I have a view. I mean, I could Guzma maybe, but this could be awkward if I'm. That, that wasn't the best Norlax, honestly. That was not the best. Maybe I could try to Guzma out the Denene. But, I mean, will he one hit me? He's playing like the slower version with Sinistee. Um, but yeah, I saw, I saw he had a bunch of energy, dude. Okay, so you won't, you won't even kill me. That is that is really good, dude. That is very good. Uh, double Orbital. Um, but should I even... Alright, I'm going to do this first. I guess I don't need V Seeker. I'll, I'll, I'll do this, because I could use V Seeker anytime I want. Get another, dude. And then... I could just use Duskull. I don't think I can evolve this guy, though, in the same turn. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep Snorlax out. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep him out. Do that. Yeah, I can't evolve in the same turn. That's fine. But next turn, I can Orb Beetle maybe twice. I don't have a way to retreat, though. I could Guzma. I could compress any supporter I need, but... Um, so he's not going for Dusclops. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Hey, he is just littering to Nenes, man. Uh, he's going to do some damage, man, but... Yeah, why would he not go for the Dust Clubs right there? Because I'm going to make him pay. Hopefully he puts down more bench Pokemon. It's more damage. That is more damage, dude. This is fine. I am liking this, man. So I can get... Um, I can get 12 damage counters in total. Six right there. Yeah, I can knock out three Pokemon this turn. Not too bad. Um. Okay. So, I will do this first. And then, yeah, I guess I will discard, compress that. Um, Bird Keeper. Yeah. Probably the best you can do right here. And then any anything I don't want. Um, kind of want everything. I guess I don't need that, get, that dude. And then another Snorlax. Probably useless. So... Um... I mean, he... You could still want him. I mean... I could kill both of these guys. Wait. I, I gotta... I gotta Think about this math. Uh, we should put the energy on now. Do I have another orb beetle? I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. <laughs> might as well put three orb beetles, right? And then I don't need ultra ball yet. I will bird keep right here. And then do this. Okay, draw some more stuff. Floats pretty good. I don't really want to put it down yet. All right. Who the hell should I kill? I mean, these guys do have energy on them, so I can move that guy. I can move to kill these guys. Uh, you know, I I think I think what I do is I just kill these Sinisties, put those damage counters, and then and then kill. The poultry guys, the guy with the ability, and then just leave Bundle Beam. I th I think I think that'd be better, yeah. Um, I do have my stadium that'll heal me, but he won't be able to one hit, which is really good. Um. So all right, well, oh wait, I get I get I get to do another play this turn, right? Yeah, I get to do I get prize scores that I can make another play. I can retreat to like a Snorlax, sacrifice him. <laughs> man, oh man, dude. Man, oh man! So I'll, I'll kill this guy first of all. <laughs> okay, this this is this is really fun, man. Oh, I have an Astrola for next turn if I need to. Okay, okay. 
and then I will put this on, on the Sinisty. <laughs> get, get another prize card, dude. Dustnor, don't really need that. He could potentially Guzma, but if he does that, then the damage is already done, man. Um, and then I will kill this dude as well. Nene onto this guy, and I just need three more prize cards. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at a pretty big big advantage. I can't at oh, wait. Actually, I could have I could have attacked. I didn't even realize that I could have attacked this turn. Yeah, I kind of screwed that up. Um, I definitely could have attacked this turn, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I definitely should have attacked, but I mean, yeah, kill, kill the dust skull, man. Yeah, kill, kill the dust skull, bro. Um, I'm not gonna put that swell because I kind of want my 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 stadium, my uh, life force. Uh, but yeah, I could have four knockouts in a single turn though. <laughs> Feels bad, dude. All right, but what is my opponent? Because I can, I can like. Maybe possibly Orbital three times this turn. Um, and, I, and I think then that, that I'd be able to kill both Bunnelbees. Maybe three Bunnelbees now. Maybe three Bunnelbees. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm definitely going to be killing three Bunnelbees this turn. Oh my god, dude. This, this guy, like, I swear to god, I did not hire this guy to play against me. I, th this guy is not a paid actor. He is a real player on the expanded ladder um, who's playing, who's doing his best against me, who's not giving me a free win. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so... Okay. Um, I will... Just ace roll up first. This is going to be so fun. Um, I will do that. I will... Acerola. Put this guy down. Add another Orbeal on my deck. Oh, he's just gonna give me the win. Oh, come on, man. That would've been so funny. Yeah, um... I, I, di I destroyed that guy. I don't know what was going on with this energy. I, I guess he just had like a lot of different types. Okay, that that's what it was. I mean, he, yeah, Roar as well. Yeah, that that guy that guy got destroyed, man. Um, pretty good matches for me so far with the Plissy and Mad Party. All right, going into another game, I will be starting first. Pretty good hand. I mean, I get a small. I mean, I can't really. Yeah, no, I I can definitely thin with the capture energy. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty good hand. Um, weakness guard energy. Yeah, I can get the Dusk Skull and then just thin out my hand and then Snorlax. Okay, we got a we got a Psychic deck. Um, don't need to worry about that. Guess I'll take the. I mean, should I even even? It? Yeah, I guess I, I should have. Um, I have this dude in my hand as well, so that that's pretty. So I can actually evolve him next turn. So that's really good. Yeah, I'll, I'll get, rid of, get rid of all this. Why not? I mean, I got Via Seekers. Should be fun. Do that, and then Cormana dies. But um, yeah, I saw I saw a version of a Calyrex deck that had like Wobbuffets though, so I'm kind of kind of so about being ability locked, um, which wouldn't be great. But I do have a Guzma, so you know, could always use that. It looks like he isn't playing Wobbuffet though. Ralts. Yeah, I, I am pretty decent set up. I need to get some orb beetles going though. Do need to get some orb beetles. Okay, so he's nothing. I don't have a grass. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I, I can't do I can't deal damage anyways. So I should probably just capture and then get another orb beetle. Might as well, and then just keep doing this. Oh wait, actually, I need a I need to start retreating though. Um, I can actually discard like a Juniper. Yeah, I can do that. 
Um, I don't really want to end them. I may need these. I'm not going to... Yeah, I don't want to discard those for sure. Okay, well, that worked. Okay, well, everything's kind of working out <laughs> so far, dude. Everything is working out, man. I just need, like, some switches, some Orbital VMAXs, then I'll be looking perfect. Uh, well, okay, well, I can't switch, but still. Did I put that guy this turn? I think I did. Um, I mean, like, what's stopping me from putting another Dust Skull, right? What's stopping me? There's no other Pokemon I really, I really want, so I may as well. And then I'll do this. Maybe I should have kept one Ultra Ball, but I do want it in my hand, so... Like, I am set up. <laughs> Bro, look how set up I am. Oh my god, dude. Actually, I'm going to do this first in, in case he pulls out a Wob Effect because I'm kind of scared. But holy crap, I am set up. Um, Yeah. I might could get a Death Storm, but I'm definitely going to focus on Orbital VMAXs. Alright, just do that. Not too bad, man. Okay, what the... I, I want switches, man. Not like... I want floats. I don't want these energies, man. I guess I could Bird Keeper uh, retreat. I don't know. Because, like, there's no point of attacking. Because he hasn't... He hasn't put down any energy. Um, I wonder... I don't know. I don't know. So he has nothing. So I am fully taking advantage of this guy right now. Well, I'm not ending. But I can do that. I can Bird Keeper, hopefully get some switches or something. Like, I may as well attack now because he, he has no... He has nothing against me right now. Oh, wait, I should have... I, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I'll just attack. No one I could kill right now. I'll just do 50. It's not a lot of damage, but... I may as well. Alright, what's this guy got? I'm hoping he gets a hand so we, we have an actual game going. Oh, <laughs> so he has two psychics. If he has one energy, it, it's basically two psychics, though. Alright, well. So this guy has two energy right now. So, okay, I gotta, I gotta think about this. Could I potentially kill this guy right here? I mean, I probably gotta kill this guy, which I can. I'll do this first. Um, okay, so I can, I don't have another, I only have one more Orbital, so I can do 60, 130. Uh, wait, yeah, 60... 130, um, 170, which can knock out that guy, 60 left, huh, um, I mean, I may as well attack this guy, right, since he has the one energy, but, um, first of all, I will be knocking out, knocking out this guy, obviously, because I do not want to see him, and it's going to take him a while to get him set back up again, so, definitely want to kill him. And then, so you only, so I'm, I shouldn't be scared of him because he only has one energy. Um, so I guess I could just float and then do the same thing, and then just attack. Um, but like I could do a hundred damage instead of fifty, if I Guzmud. Um, that would be too bad. There's the, there goes that guy. Another float. So. I think I'm going to Guzma, and he's just going to give me the win. All right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, bro, I cannot believe how fast I got set up that game. Plus, like, he, he didn't really have anything going. He just had, like, a guard of war. Once I once I took care of him, care of him it was it was over at that point. All right, going into another battle. Oh, I almost clicked second. I'll go first. Um. Okay, well, nothing there. Homie's got a dragon-themed deck okay can i can i can i get a basic so he's got ultra necrozma 
Not the best matchup for me. Not the best matchup. I, I kind of like abilities, dude. Not gonna lie, I kind of I kind of like abilities. But we'll see how this one goes. Okay. Okay, this is the first time I got a starting compressor. That's that's good. Or beetle. I do want to get a Snorlax, but um, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I only have one field blower as well. I have one swell, one stadium, one field blower. I think I have one. Um, okay, capture. And I actually could retreat using. Yeah, I could retreat as well, and then maybe, you know, save a hit. But I mean, my energy would be gone, which kind of sucks. But what can you do, man? So I can compress her first. I do want to evolve this guy this turn, for sure. Use that ability before it's gone. Um, I mean, I guess discard like a Juniper. Got a lot of V-Seekers. What else do I not need? I want to, I want to keep a lot of this stuff, honestly, man. I'll just do that. Get this dude. I kind of have to discard the orbit or beetle v max, unfortunately. Like I gotta keep this fuel blower, man. There's no way I can discard it. Oh wait, actually no. I no way I can just do this right here. Okay, that that works. That works, dude. So we'll evolve, and I will retreat. But my energy my energy is gone, which really sucks. But maybe I can stall him out a little bit with this field blower. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. The Kuros was broken, dude. Kuros was pretty broken. Okay, so all he need now all he needs uh, now. I, I really want him to put a bunch of bench poke one though. Okay, so he's he's got every <laughs> he's got everything then. He does have everything. Oh, should I strafe though? Strafe into like another Snorlax? I don't know. Uh, maybe I could get my Swole. No. I mean, I guess I have to use my Field Blower. But like, it, it's not even worth much since he probably has Lucky Egg would have got. I, like, I can't one at him. I can't one at him. And I can't get my. Yeah, I, I gotta go into another uh, Snorlax. Can I have to? I'll get these guys going. I'll get another Orbeetle on the bench. But if I get another energy, I can one hit, so that's decent. Yeah, I def I definitely need need a Snorlax right here. I used that right. No, I didn't. Okay. But like I can one hit, which is good. Can one hit. But like this guy's gonna die again, let's be honest. Well, there's my dust snore. No 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 more energy though. Gotta get my swole pretty soon. And then maybe I, I just want him to like plop down a, a whole ton of bench book one. That that's what I need right now. Or or if he didn't or if he didn't put any at all, then I'd win the game. <laughs> so that would that would that would be pretty good. He's got he has to synthy again. That's not ideal when you have like a you know, just putting everything back in your in your deck. Like now I can't goose my hail, which is pretty good. Every time he synthia's like that, it's another lucky egg. Yeah, I can't get around that. I mean, I could Guzma the bench, I guess. I don't know. I I, I feel like he has a Guzma Hill in his hand. Yeah, I, I could one at him. Yeah, I think I just want to Guzma the bench. 
Let's see what I get from here. Or no, I don't have to use, but I can escape rope. <laughs> I can escape rope. Yeah, I want to. I want to get that, but like, I I don't need to do a whole bunch of orbital switching. Um. Because I, I just can't rack up a ton of damage. Um, yeah, I'll just do that. I feel like if he put a lucky egg, then he wouldn't have anything in his hand. I mean, not, not necessarily. And then I'll I'll keep I'll keep I'll just keep everything in my hand. I'll do this. Why not? And then I can do just enough damage to one of this guy. Ultra Ball Psych. I can get another Orbital. But if it, if he hits into me, then... Ton of damage. Energy gone. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, so he did have something in his deck, then. Bro, how is he finding Lucky X? Is that his third one? Oh, wait, no. I, I goose him around that, right? And then he did that. Okay. I was confused for a second. Okay, well, I, at least he's putting stuff on his bench. That's good. He does get an attack. Uh, will this actually evade? I think it will. 50? Yeah, this will evade a, a, a attack. That's good. And I get an energy. Nice. Okay, well, that worked out. But, like, should I Guzma around this guy? I think I should. Yeah, I think I should. Yeah, for sure. Um... Yeah, okay. I will do this. I'll search for another Orb Beetle. I actually killed... I could, I could, like, Guzma kill a Trubbish, and then I think, like, damage kill a Trubbish, I think. We'll see. So I'll get an Orb Beetle right here. Get that, dude. I will Eerie Beam. And then I want to put the float in this guy. So I can float and then Guzma. Wait, could I kill this guy with damage counters then? The, I could do uh, four more, seven, ten. No, I'd be one short. I'd be one short. Um. Because that'd be great if I just avoided the, everything. But I'll just go and, oh, go and kill one of these guys. Two of them. Actually, yeah, two of them I'll kill. And then I'll do this. Do that. Eerie Beam. And then, I mean, could I just go to Snorlax, though? Nah, I... Yeah, I want to kill. Yeah, I mean, maybe if I killed two. Wait, actually, I'll get prize cards. So I'm going to do this first and then then make a move of what I want to do. Um. Oh, wait, actually, that was kind of stupid. Oh, that, that was stupid. I should have I should have goose with this guy. Oh, wait, no, never mind. No, I'm, I'm tripping balls right now. Because I have to kill this dude. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, yeah, I, I gotta kill this dude. And then he can't he can't one hit me next turn, so that's really good. I got an N. Okay. And then I can do just enough damage to one hit this guy. So I'm I've I've only got three prize cards left. That's not too bad. But I killed a lot of his bench Pokemon, so he probably won't have much. I mean, he's, he's got got rescues and stuff like that. Two Sign Labs down, but I mean, after this, I can't Field Blower or use any more Stadiums. I'm just hoping he has a dead hand for once, bro. Because <laughs> he's got, a lot, got, got these lucky eggs, man. Yeah, see, so there, there's the rod. Um, I really hope he just 
keep continues to put these guys on the bench. So he has another VU Seeker teammates. So what, Scilab, like a Juniper for next turn, probably. Probably what I'd imagine. No point in ending, probably just Bird Keeper right here. I do want to put down another Ore Beetle. Okay, he's going to put down another Bench Pokemon, though. But I can't use any basic abilities, which does not matter. Only Snorlax I can't use. I should probably keep this guy alive as soon as I, like, you know, as much as I can. Or maybe he searched for a Trubbish. I don't know. He, he's like he's he's got he's got stuff in his hand. Every actually, I could kill this guy this turn. I, yeah, I'm gonna kill another Trubbish this turn. Hell yeah. And then, I mean, maybe I if I get like an energy, maybe I do just sacrifice this dude. Yeah, I think I should Juniper right here. But I've got two floats left. I could Bird Keeper, but I only draw three. I'm losing two V Seekers though. I think I have one left, but yeah, I got a Juniper. Got a Juniper. Do that. So I didn't get any ways of switching. Um, I think I should just hit him though. Because... Yeah, because then I just need... Actually, I do... Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely... I one-hit him. And then I kill Garbodor as well. So I just need one prize card left. But then I have no energy on anyone else. So that's kind of an issue. But I'm going to do this first. Kill this guy first. But if he kills me, then he's only two prize cards away. But he can't one-hit. Unless he has like a muscle pin or something. I'll kill this guy again and just see what I get. If I get like a switch, then that would be really good. Another grass. Or maybe I, I can't bomb or tree. Yeah, I think I just have to take this hit. Or I mean, if I go into... No, I can't go into Snorlax. I can't use executes, so doesn't really matter. Like I'm lucky egging as well. Like imagine if I if I just saved up for like an or if I found like an ace roll in my deck. Then that would be perfect. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put Snorlax out. I don't think he's gonna Guzma anytime soon. And then put an energy on the dude with more health. And then thin out my deck. If he Guzmas, he's going to go for Dustnor. For sure. Yeah. I feel like that's... I Like, I can't use him, but I feel like that's still the better play. So was he expecting for me to hit him? Or did he pre get a juniper from that from that teammates? Another Pokemon. I don't know why he's putting more Pokemon down, dude. Because that just helps me. Okay, so he did get a Sycamore. He's got. Oh my God, he's loading up the bench right now. This is perfect. This guy is. This is. This guy is winning the game for me. How many tools does he have? Wait, he just won me the game. I have like nothing. I. Th I think he just won me the game. Um, I can only do two Orbeetles this turn. I think he may have just won me the game. We'll do this first. So, I can do 10 damage counters. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's six on here, four, that's plenty. Yeah, I, he just won me the game. I got a Guzma on my hand. So, I can do this. I can, wait, who do I Guzma into though? Wait, hold on, hold on. If I Guzma into someone, 
Wait. No, I haven't won yet. I can't... Yeah. Because I want this guy to be in the active and then, then attack, but it's impossible because I have no way of retreating, though. Um, I can sacrifice someone. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, am I, wait, am I just being dumb? Yeah, no, I only have five damage counters, so I can't, I can't one hit this guy. I mean, it's possible I get like a switch or something. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Nah, I'll, I'll just put the guy with more health. Yeah, there's no point of. Yeah, so I'll, I'll retreat right here. Do this, and then just see what I get in my prize card. I don't even know if I'm playing this right. But... Like, I need... I This is the only guy I can kill. Um, Like, I, I could do 20, 30, 50, 70, 90. Yeah, I only have 90. So I have to do this. Kill this guy. Alright, give, give me like a switch. If I get a switch, I win. Acerola. That won't, that won't really... <laughs> Wait, no! Oh my god! If I switched that guy, I could have done it. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> if I switched that guy, I could have done it, man. Okay, well. Let's put it all on this guy and then just pass. I mean, I'm still in a really good spot. Yeah, I'm still in a really good spot, though. Um, yeah, I, I still don't think I can lose, but... Oh, man, if I, if I just did that. And then there's no point of me acerling now. Because if he just switches out, then... You know, I just eerie beam, eerie beam, then win the game. So I'm kind of using him as bait. So he won't switch out this guy, the one with energy. Or am I playing this like a dumbass? Um... Nah, I'll just do it right now. May as, may as well. Um, and then I'll put down another or beetle. May as well. I don't know. This is some this is some big brain stuff right right here, dude. That was a long ass turn, man. Bro, oh my god, look at look at my time difference, dude. I've spent twelve minutes. Oh, he's, he's just gonna hit me. Wait, so it's over. Oh wait, no, he doesn't do anything. Um, wait, I could have used the ace roll then. Um, no, I can still retreat. Okay, so it's game over. It's game over, man. But I, I, I probably could have played that better. But I, I mean, I still ended up winning, dude. Um, yeah, I probably could have played that better. But beating Alster Crowsman, man. You love to see it. Just do that. Yeah, I want to kill him by, by doing this, dude. Uh, no, I'll just hit him. It's whatever. Alright, yeah, that was a pretty close game. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that was last card Juniper. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a fun one, though. Alright, guys, that's gonna wrap up all the battles for this video. Overall, um, it's a really fun deck, man. A lot, a lot of fun battles. Um, once you get set up, man, it's not too too tough to get set up anyways, man. With, like, all the capture energies, dude. All the balls, the Storlax really helps. Um, it's not too, too uh, tough to get set up, but once you're set up, man... If your opponent has like a ton of bench Pokemon, man, you're just going to roll over them with Dust Nori and like all the switching you do in this deck. Super fun. Super fun deck to play. Um, works really good, I feel like. But if you guys uh, enjoyed um, um, this video, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, that's it guys. Alright, peace out.